Now, panel, before inviting our next and our last contestant on stage, I'm, no, don't leave, just put on your blindfolds. And please do not remove your blindfolds until the entire secret is completed and all questioning is ended. All right? All right. Blindfolds in place. Next contestant, come on, please. Very neat. Good evening, sir. Good evening, Gary. Will you tell the panel, please, what your name is and where you're from? I'm Moulton Taylor from Longview, Washington. This is Mr. Taylor, and he is from Longview, Washington. So, Mr. Taylor, you obviously have a secret. If you'll whisper it to me, we'll share it with the folks at home. Oh. Now, come, come, come. There must be more to the secret than this. Let me in on it. We will start the questioning, please, with Betsy Palmer. But Betsy Palmer and Betsy, this concerns something that Mr. Taylor did. Mr. Taylor, uh, did you do this recently? Yes. The result of what you did is on the stage with you this evening? Yes. The result you... of what he did is on the stage? I can't say that the result is on the stage, no. No? Are more things coming in? I mean, I just heard a great big sound. Yes. More things are. Yes. Have you built something, Mr. Yes. Taylor? Yes, um, he has built something. Whatever you built, did this bring you from the state of Washington? Yes. Yes? Uh, it's getting longer, isn't it? Because you're getting further away. I'm back again. Oh? <laughs> are you still building part of this? Yes. Uh, let's correct that a bit for me, Mr. Taylor. He is not really building. Uh, are you part. still assembling this, then? Whatever. Assembling is a more proper word. <laughs> Assembling is the proper word. Twenty dollars down, sixty dollars to go, and we go to Phil Cullen. Uh, problem. Sir. Do you want me to disqualify myself? I'll tell you why. I don't know Mr. Taylor, but I do know sounds of certain things, and I think I could do this right away. You All right, Bill, out of sportsmanship, thank yeah. you very much. We'll ask you to disqualify yourself on the sound of the material, and we will go, please, to um, yeah. Bess. Bill, Bill, you may therefore remove your blindfold. No, Betsy. <laughs> uh, Gary, is Mr. Tanner still with us? Yes. Is he adding to what he brought out on the stage originally? Technically, yes. You're adding to it. You're going yes. to make it more than what it was. Yes. The thing that came out, of course, came out on wheels. Is it some sort of automobile? Yes. Mm -hmm. Is it more than just an automobile? No. No, it doesn't do anything more than an ordinary automobile would no. do. Mm -hmm. Now, this thing that you're adding... It, that which it, he brought on stage with him is an, or, is an automobile and does no more than an automobile is expected to do. Well, whatever he's doing, it's going to do more than what an automobile is expected to do. Is that correct? True. We'd have to, yes, say $40 down, $40 to go. Henry Morgan is strangling himself. <laughs> Why? Well, I, I, I'm not so good on... So, I've got a cold. Um, that doesn't explain anything, does it? Yeah, you can't yeah, hear the sound. Well, I can't hear it, no. Mm -hmm. Was it, is this thing that is being built up here, is it something the automobile tows? Something that the automobile tows upon occasion, yes. Is it something to live in? No, it is not. Does it uh, roll along the ground? Yes. It's made of some kind of sheet metal, isn't it? Uh, Bill Cullen, is it made of some kind of sheet metal? Yeah, it's metal and it's in a sheet, but Henry should be familiar with the sound too, you know. I should. Don't tell me what I should. I tell you. Uh, what are they do? Sixty dollars down, twenty dollars to go. No, we have no penalty. We are defeated. Utterly remove your blindfolds, if you will. Oh my Lord! Henry, remove your blindfolds. I'll figure it out. Now the part, the part that Mr. Taylor originally drove onto the stage is only the yellow coupe in the front. This part was not on the stage. The other half has been brought on. There is a wing, which you cannot see, extended on the far side. And before this wing comes out, I advise you most earnestly to drag yourself out of the firing squad. All the way back. All the way back. I'll be a question to you later on. Now, while Mr. Taylor and Mr. Millick are putting this together, I would like to point out that this is not a gimmick. This is a practicable air aircraft. There are already several of them sold and in private use and are being flown daily. 
They meet all the requirements of the CAA, is it, sir? The Civil Aeronautical, whatever it is. In other words, the same people, the same group that approved this ship also approved the Boeing 707. So this is no... True, you have to have a license from the same bunch of people. So in just a moment, you will see this wing come out. Nice part about it is that you drive to the airport or fly to the airport and disassemble the tail assembly, turn it around, tow it along behind you as a, as a trailer, and you have your automobile with you wherever you want it. Take it back to the airport, raise the wings, up you go. When you take your wife with you, Gary, why, you can have her do the hard work on the other end. <laughs> <laughs> now, I'm sure, here, here comes the wing. Here comes the wing. Now, watch this. No weight involved, actually. <laughs> I am assuming that the panel would like to ask questions concerning... What is the name of it, sir? Ride. The arrow car. The arrow car. Now, I'm coming out here in the front of the wing. I'm assuming Bill Cullen in particular, being a flyer of some note, will have questions to ask. Bill, what's the first thing you'd like to know? Well, uh, is it difficult, uh, Mr. Taylor, to get your power from the wheels into your propeller back there? Actually, when you're driving, you just leave it in neutral. And when you're flying, uh, or rather, when you're driving, you shift it uh, like any automobile. And when you fly, there's a shaft to the propeller on the tail. And the engine's in the rear of the driver. The same engine flies it and drives it. Now, and also, you, obviously, the question would come up, how do you steer it? When you're on the ground, you simply turn the wheel as in an ordinary automobile. You'll notice it turns the front wheel, like so. At the same time, it's turning... The aileron. The aileron. Uh, see? Oh, now then, suppose I want to go... Now watch this, Bill. Yeah. In particular, see this. Pull out. Oh, you're blocking the camera, old friend. Pull out. There you go. Just like a stick on an air cooler. A similar aircraft. The elevator. See? There you go. What about the rudder? Well, the rudder? There, there are rudder pedals in here. I'm pushing them. Frank, can you get a shot of the rudder? I'm pushing the rudder pedals right in here. They lower once you uh, put the rear assembly on. What does this thing sell for? What does this sell for, sir? $9,500, Gary. $9,500, $9,500 for an automobile and an airplane combined. How much are for six? <laughs> Wholesale, no doubt. What does it do on the ground as an automobile? We've driven up to 85 miles an hour. As an automobile? Yes. Mm. What is your, your cruising speed in the air? We cruise 100 miles an hour. However, the top speed is approximately 117. 117. Cruise, I'm on a cruising range? 300 miles. Again, I impress upon you, this is already in existence. It is being sold. It's for sale. I just bought one. I'll see you later. Contact. Bye, Bye out there. <laughs> This has been a Mark Goodson, Bill Cochran production. Miss Thomas Gown by Doreen Fashion. Be sure to watch Bristol Myers' show, Staccato, on another network. See your local listings for time and station. This is John Cannon speaking.